Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Yelena Bolshakova uh, from Kherson State Pedagogical University of Russia. Uh, today I'm going to talk about DNA methylation analysis of a tandem repeat specific to Cotronix japonica using nanopore sequencing. Uh, tandem repeats have been considered for a long time as so-called junk DNA and are remain poorly studied. Uh, repeats generally refer to chromatin. Also, they differ in the degree of conservatism of the monomers and in the level of their transcriptional activity. Uh, at the same time, repetitive DNA elements can play a decisive role in the structural organization of chromosomes and can be important for the regulation of gene expression. Uh, most repetitive elements are usually methylated to maintain a heterochromatic compressed state. Uh, traditional short sequencing prevents us from accessing repeat rich regions. Uh, studying the epigenome using nanopore sequencing gives us the opportunity to see the methylation of specific sequence regions and site of the particular tandem repeat interesting to us. Uh, the object for, of research for this work was Cotonix japonica, also known as the Japanese quail, uh, one of the highest producing poultry species. Uh, it belongs to the Phasianidae family. Uh, the Japanese quail is a well-known model object in vertebrate physiology, development, behavior, and genetic studies. Uh, the currently existing assembly of the genome of the Japanese quail consists of uh, 32 linkage groups uh, without information about the 10 smallest chromosomes. Uh, the genome of quail includes 25% repetitive sequences. In this study, we analyzed the DNA methylation of the repeat CGEP set using nanopore sequencing. Uh, the CGEP set uh, repeat is specific to Japanese quail and is not found in any other avian genomes. Uh, it's a paracentromeric tandem repeat, and these uh, regions are packaged in constitutive uh, heterochromatin and should be methylated throughout the genome as expected. Uh, on chromosome 2, this repeat forms a loop, indicating its transcription in this location, uh, while elsewhere it may have a compact package forming a chromomere. Uh, this presence of CGAP set on lateral loops on Lambrush chromosome 2 indicates its transcription at the diplotene stage in grown Japanese quail oocytes. Uh, for research, uh, we performed two different libraries, uh, DNA samples from blood cells and early embryos. Uh, for a blood sample, DNA is mainly represented by the nuclear of erythrocytes. It's a terminal differentiation with a high degree of condensation and activation of chromatin. Uh, the embryo sample DNA was extracted from 36 hour embryo of quail in 10 semi stage. Mm, this uh, total DNA was extracted from bionic tissues, which uh, contain cells of different germ layers and many actively dividing stem cells. Um, for DNA extraction, was used the Monarch DNA extraction kit by New England Biolabs. This was followed by precipitation with ethanol and the presence of sodium acetate. Uh, DNA concentration and quality were measured using the Implin nanophotometer. Um, high quality DNA samples were processed uh, using nanopore ligation sequencing kit, uh, SKK LSK109, uh, to prepare the sequencing libraries, uh, which we sequenced using the 9R941 flow cells. Uh, 
uh, after minimum sequencing, we get raw reads in FAST5 format. Uh, for modified bases, extract and we use Megalodon. Uh, Megalodon is an Oxford nanopore developed command line tool that can identify modified base from the raw nanopore reads uh, by anchoring the information, reach base calling natal network, output to reference genome. Uh, for the highest accuracy modified base calls, Megalodon was used with the base calling model in Rio. Uh, so, Megalodon post processing uh, include base calling from raw signal data, uh, mapping the sequences reads to the reference sequence, uh, methylation calling, and store the results in BAM or bad alignment files. Uh, BAM file was sorted by SEM tools. Uh, we used BLAST to search for repeat monomers in the latest available quail genome assembly. After all, for visualization of data, we use the genome browser, Integrative Genomics Viewer. Uh, you can choose particular chromosome and particular region of interest in using uh, browser. Um, expecting to see large numbers of methylated monomers of repeat, uh, we found uh, many unmethylated repeats. And repeats on chromosome 2, which one was present on lateral loops of lumbar stage chromosome, also unmethylated in both samples. Uh, for a number of repeating monomers, uh, data were obtained to distinguish the embryo from blood by methylation. Um, this suggest suggests that these regions are methylated later. Therefore, this should be regulated in development. Um, CJAP set, uh, which was expected to be methylated for all repeats. According to our data, um, turned out to be unmethylated for many monomers. And in addition, we found a difference in the methylation pattern between erythrocyte and embryo samples during the analysis. It should be noted that some of the methylated repeat regions in the blood DNA are not methylated in the embryo, uh, what may indicate a change in methylation status during development. And nanopore long read sequencing technology greatly expands the ability of long range DNA modification detection. And we can see differences in the methylation level of individual monomers. And this allows us to understand the role of individual repeat sequences. Uh, finally, I would like to thank all the people involved in the project. And I would like to thank Oxford Nanopore Technology for letting me be part of this Nanopore community meeting. And thank you for your attention.